Hey everyone, so I'm going to make a demonstration today that is not scraping. Um, we are going to go more for creating uh, Facebook marketplace listings. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to start my automation by exporting my Facebook cookies so that I can automatically log in. Um, if you haven't seen that video, there's a tutorial exactly on that, but we can just go through it in this process. Um, what I'll do is in, in an existing automation, I'm going to go ahead and click these three dots and click add cookies and then I'll be pasting my cookies here. So look, if you don't have this extension already, it's called edit this cookie. Um, you can search for that in the Chrome extension store or again, there's a video on uh, cookies for how to add them, what Chrome extension to use, things like that. So I'll click this and then I'll click export and then I can click this button to paste all of those cookies. So when I save this, this is automatically going to launch with those cookies. Therefore, I will be logged in to Facebook. So back in Chrome really quick, this might be confusing in a second because we're going to see the Chromium window open too. But what I want to do is I'm going to grab the marketplace URL right here. Um, let me go to create new listing and items. For, I guess you can back this automation up a little bit more if you want to do things more other you know other options like this and use find by text but in my example we're just going to assume that we're creating a listing right here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start with this url that way i don't need to go through the pain of logging in clicking the marketplace button and then clicking add new listing we can just go directly to this url so let's make that my first one it's going to re-navigate here but that's okay that doesn't really matter and then we're going to click plus record and type and this is going to be us adding a title so i'll say like oh <laughs> i'm in the chrome browser whoops okay here we go let's do this again oh it was recording okay cool my bad i was in the chromium browser uh, or i was in the chrome browser back in the chromium one where we're recording i'm going to click this play or uh, the plus icon record type and then the title i'll just make this title for now Let's confirm that. And then let's record another typing event, which is the price, let's just do 50 bucks. And then let's record a click step of this category. And it looks like this is one that we can type into. So actually instead of type, instead of a click step, let's make this a type step. Yeah, so obviously depending on the input that you have or the drop down, whatever it is, there might be a little bit of a, of a difference between the, the best one to use. Um, and there isn't always a clear answer, I guess. The reason with this one, I think we're gonna need to do typing and then clicking is because I'll do like cars, for example. Can I do, is there not a car? Okay, car part and accessories. Um, I think that we need to enter exactly what this is. And I don't think, and then I think we need to select it here too. So if I click confirm, um, it looks like that's okay. Okay, so with some websites, when you do this, it's going to immediately clear that input because it's going to expect that you clicked something. It just gave you like a search bar essentially right here. In this example, um, typing was enough and typing saved. Uh, we can also test that really quick. If we click out of this and then I go back in here, I can click the play icon and this should change it and then we're good to go. So good way to verify that. Then in this condition one, I think this is going to be two different click steps. So let's click plus, record, click, and then let's open the condition box. And then Facebook is a weird one. We actually had a question about this pop up too. Um, what you'll notice is, is when I open this drop down and then I leave the page, it always closes that drop down. So it makes it kind of tough to click this and then record your next click step. So the workaround for that is we can click the play icon, which is if you see here, that is going to open it for us. Then we can click the plus record click and it's already open for us so now we don't need to worry about that drop down not being open um, this just depends on the site how something like this works now this click step is going to be replaced with find by text because um, we don't always want to click the first item in the list and we don't want to have four different steps and four different filters to decide on which one to click so instead what we can do is when we connect our google sheet or i think our webhook is what we're going to do um, we're going to edit the advanced settings here and we're going to add find by text and it's going to be something like condition and that's how it's going to decide on picking the right one in this list. So uh, did I record that new click? Yeah, I did. 
Um, we can also we can test that step if we want, but we'll test it when we run it, I guess, at this point. Then let's record our description, and this is going to be some description. Uh, this description field is something where you're probably going to want formatted text, which I think we have a tutorial on. Um, basically, all that means is you can add line breaks and things to your uh, to your type field because obviously you don't want one blob of text here. Um, I think this is all that I wanted to do except for uploading photos. Uh, for uploading photos, the way that I enjoy doing this the most is what we're going to do is click this plus icon, record, and then click. And then let's select wherever we want on here. Just make sure it highlights. And then we're going to convert this step or change the step type to an upload step. Now what we can do is I'm going to grab a random logo really quick. Let me grab that. All right, so I got my image URL. And what I'm going to do is, is paste that here. That way this step is going to upload that file um, to the Facebook Marketplace listing. Um, I don't know why I can't click next. Maybe that had to be selected. I don't know. Let me figure out what I did wrong. Okay, whoops. Uh, it turns out I didn't realize you needed to have a photo. Um, if you guys are following along exactly to the steps, I went ahead and tested this and where I traced with the add photo ended up not popping uh, or presenting that pop-up model. So I'm going to re-record this click step and I'm going to trace exactly on this icon right here because I think this one is giving me more success. Uh, same thing, let's change the step type to upload and then let's paste that, whoops, that image and then we can click the play icon to test that this is working and we are good. And the next step is just gonna be clicking the next button. I think this is all there is, right? Uh, let's move this to the top. Next, confirm. Um, I don't know if there's a, can I set the privacy on this? We'll just do that, okay. Next, um, okay, I think this is just the publishing process. I think this gets into whatever you guys want to do, you can do with this. So if there's more to this process that you want, just record those clicks and those types, whatever it's going to be. Um, I want to focus on the setup process of this because everybody's going to go a different direction, I think, um, after that step. So I'll click I'm done. And then what we're going to do is, is set up our webhook. Um, I'm going to do this. That way I can bring data in from the apps builder. So to open the apps builder, I'm going to go ahead and click the profile icon and then open apps builder. And let's create a new flow. And we are going to have an action, the task magic action. And let's go grab our webhook URL here. So I know I skipped around a little bit there. Um, if you don't have the webhook set up, this will say setup trigger. If you do have a different trigger, you'll see the change trigger type button. If you have webhook already selected, awesome. If you don't, select it. Then click manage trigger settings. And this is the URL that you need. Um, this is basically a way for apps to know where to send the data and this tells us which automation to run with that data which is how all of this works so i'm going to copy that url and then let's select start automation um, this one we're going to remove these options sorry that those are still there uh, and then we're just going to paste our url here we don't need any headers this will be removed we don't need any query params that's going to be removed um, and then for the body we need everything that we wanted to type which i have forgotten so we have title. We're just going to add a key for each of these. A key is like equivalent to your header in Google Sheet. So I'll do title and then let's do uh, 50 and then category. Oh, why did I do 50? Sorry. Category, price, um, condition, description and image URL. I think that's enough. And then let's just enter some dummy information. So I'll do dummy title, 10 bucks. New is the condition. Um, oh, new is the condition. And then let's do car parts and accessories again. Uh, description, hello world. Jeremy's gonna hate that. And then image URL, I added that same image. So this stuff is usually gonna be filled in by whatever steps you have coming before this action, but this is a way to test that now. Um, if you set up your triggers and your actions and things like that, you'll see variables presented to you on this side, and that's how you can make this data for the marketplace side 
um, come in from whatever app you want. So I'll click test step. And what this is gonna do is this is gonna send all of this data. Oh, that's not what I meant to post there. There we go. Let's retest this. Okay, now I have the image URL. Um, I accidentally pasted the webhook. I'm gonna go ahead and click retest. And then in task magic, once that arrives, we can click manage webhook trigger, change trigger settings, and then check for new events. Um, and this is a way for us to have some sort of test data. And we'll see what came through our, I think this is the right image, yeah, is the price, the category, the title, the image URL, description, and the condition. So now all we need to do are set up these variables. This video got really long really fast. So all we need to do is click into those steps and then we will have those available. So we can either type it or we can click it, um, whatever you wanna do here. It's probably gonna be quicker to click some of these and the rest are gonna be a lot easier to just type. This one's cat, this is convenient. Um, and then click, this is the one that we need to use find by text. So we'll click the, the three dots, advanced settings, enable find by text, and this is gonna look for whatever is in the condition side and then click it. So in that example, it's gonna click the new text. Um, this step doesn't need to have anything. This is the one where we open the dropdown. Uh, this one doesn't need find by text or anything because regardless of the condition, it's always going to open that drop down. Then we have our description. I'll just go ahead and type this. You can also search your variables in here, um, but why not do it this way? Upload files. This is going to be at image URL from here. Again, this is the only reason I'm getting these variables and things like this is all because of what I set up on the side over here in apps. Um, again, so same thing as having headers in your Google Sheet. Uh, just, I guess, tilt your computer 90 degrees and look at how this kind of looks like a Google Sheet, right? Uh, in some ways. You'll see how that doesn't make sense when you guys get to know webhooks a lot more. But um, this is how we can test this. This sets up all of those variables and we should have everything that we need um, to run this. All right, so I made a mistake with this category dropdown. Um, and I thought typing in it would be enough, but from what it looks like, uh, not being able to refocus on the new input is causing some issues. So all we need to do is type something in this category section and record the click. So after we type something, the category, we're then going to record a click step of the first thing. And we can also use find by text on this to be super sure uh, about what we're getting. So. I think that is it now. Then what I can do after we save this, I can go ahead and click play steps. And this is going to use that selected data from my webhook uh, that we set up earlier. So I think this has like dummy title and then $10 and stuff like that. Cool, there we go. And then here it should type our category and then select the first option. Cool. And then it should move on to the next drop down, and then select new because I think that's what came from our webhook and then type our description. I don't remember if we clicked the next button. I think that's where we called it good. Um, or maybe we did that. And then one other thing, there's the image upload. And again, all of this stuff can also be viewed from the view log section. Uh, to see what's going on. But that's that. That's uploading to Facebook. Um, I don't know the rest of your guys' uh, process, something like this. Um, go ahead, click the publish button, or if you're selecting groups, whatever you want to do. But let me know in the comments uh, what you guys end up making with this. Hopefully seeing this in apps let you, lets you see how you can connect this to other third parties. And, uh, and yeah, happy building.